Hello students and welcome to Smart Kids Tutorials. In this video, we will be going through certain questions which are more like to come for the upcoming History of Social Science 1 uh, question, Goa Board's question paper in April 2024. Uh, though these questions have been mentioned, the points are mentioned, the probability of these questions coming is highly likely. It doesn't mean that the same questions will come. May come, may not come. But I've tried to cover uh, the questions in such a way that at least one of them will definitely come. So if you uh, are looking to just focus on few questions, because uh, many of you con consider history portion as vast, there's a lot to study. So I tried to narrow it down to what you can focus on uh, to prepare for your upcoming examination. So this uh, you will have probably just one and a half day to revise through. So these que uh, questions will really help you out. So quickly you can revise uh, and focus on exactly what can actually come. Okay, so let's begin. So I broke it down chapter wise and marks wise. So the one st st uh, I've started it with the uh, chapter which has got the highest number of marks. Okay, five. You've got a 40 marks paper. So, you got just one chapter which is having five marks, which is Emergence of Nationalism in India. And thereafter, the marks keep on decreasing with most of the chapters having just two marks. Okay. So, let's begin first with Emergence of Nationalism in India. There's a lot to study in this. I've just narrowed it down to a few things that you can focus on. Five marks, there's a lot to study. So, the ones that I've marked in bold are more likely to come okay compared to the one that i have not marked in board but whatever i've put down over here is a high probability of coming so let's have a look so i've noted down these for two marks and this is the salt act black act swaraj party like where it started what were his objectives ganesh and shivaji festivals who started them why what was the purpose non-cooperation movement okay non-cooperation movement when was it started? When it stopped? Who started it? Simon Commission. Okay. The what way? Why was there a protest for Simon Commission? When did the Simon Commission actually? What were the consequences of uh, Simon Commission? Partition of Bengal. Who did the partition of Bengal and when? Lahore session of Congress. Then Indian National Congress. Indian National Congress. Who started Indian National Congress? Like was a found, uh, uh, founder of Indian National Congress. When did it start? Then about the extremist policy. What was the extremist policy all about? Uh, then the que then there is also a question that can come. Why were the moderates ineffective? Okay. So you need to know these acts. Salt Act, Black Act. What were this? Did they have another name? And what was it all about? What were these acts actually doing? Why did people protest against these acts? Okay, so two marks will come straight. I mean, there is a two mark question that will come over here because this five marks is divided into two plus uh, one plus one plus one, so totally five marks. Three one mark questions and one two mark question. We get prepared for that. Then uh, important figures in uh, history in case of uh, Indian nationalism. Uh, Veer Savarkar, then Mahatma Gandhi, Bhagat Singh, Lal Bahadur Shastri, uh, then uh, Bibi Chandrabal, then Bal Gangadhar Tilak, um, Justice Ranade, RR Mohan Ro uh, Rajaram Mohan Roy, Aurobind Ghosh, Shubhas Chandra Bose, then you have uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, Rajendra Prasad, Ravindra Jagor, uh, R.K. Narayan, uh, EO, EO, uh, Vomish Chandra Banerjee. These are important figures. If you, you need to know why are they famous. Okay. There is only one point for which they are more renowned in your textbook. So you should, they did a lot of things, but in your textbook, there is one thing that really stands out for them. So you should know that. And this will come for one mark. These figures are important. Then you have important incidents or important day and time or date in history. 
that you were like for example jallian on a bag massacre when did it occur okay and it is linked to one of these which is over here points then you have chauri chaura incident launch and withdraw i mentioned over here launch and withdrawal of non cooperation movement quit india movement when was it started quit india movement then satyagraha which was the first place where the satyagraha was launched by whom okay that that is what you need to know where uh, was it and then in uh, uh, maharashtra where exactly was it launched then do or die who gave the slogan do or die why then the morley minto reform what was the morley minto when did was it introduced then the moltic chelsworth chemsol reforms when were the reforms introduced when did the battle of plessy take place very important and the upper and then you have battle of buxhar and and who gave the remark chalo delhi <coughs> so one ma okay so i have just ma said two marks one mark one mark so this is sure apart from that the one mark can the other one mark that this is only four marks one mark can come from here itself or they can give some other questions okay so if you have go through some papers or some preparatories you will see how the marks have been distributed in case of emergence of nationalism in india next chapter goa's struggle for freedom and this is for four marks okay very very important because we are in goa so there will be a lot of stress on things related to goa okay so goa's really struggle for freedom four marks now two marks questions will be there right and is it will be as per another pattern of the paper that came for uh, preliminary was not as per the goa model paper over there so if you ask me will it come according to goa uh, model paper i can't say that it should come according to the model paper that said okay and the the uh, prelims paper has no direct link with the paper that will come for the uh, final exam okay but let's just prepare uh, according uh, according to the goa model paper so that's what goa board has given us so there's two marks question that will come uh, for goa struggle for freedom so you can, and the uh, other two marks will be one mark each with one one line uh, that you will have okay and um, uh two box actually will come in uh, match the column like column a column b column c column d you will get so over there was really rather than two box will be there so this two box are direct for one question and two box that is one one mark each for uh, match the column now let's see at the two box aims of goa congress committee goa congress committee was formed you should know when it was formed and what were the aims or objective with which it was formed then activities of the gomantakya tarun sang or act, uh, where it was started same goes with azad gomantak what were the aims objectives of this when was by whom who started goa congress committee who started gomantakya tarun sang who started azad gomantak you should know this okay then important very very important question because he was imprisoned for 26 years so why was mohan radare imprisoned for 26 years what did it what did he do so much that he got imprisoned for 26 years should also know the repressive measures of salazar then the role that goa sevak say what was the role of goa sevak sir why were early revolts by goa unsuccessful so you should know why were they unsuccessful okay then apart from that uh, you should know important names in goa's freedom struggle okay like tv kuna ramonor loya shamrao mardaikar general kandit general choudhry uh, very important general kandit general choudhry do not confuse see why two generals are there where it this two are linked to the liberation of goa what were their roles there important don't confuse between the two 
पुरुषोत्तम काकोडकर पी पी शिरोडकर दिवाकर काकोडकर आदिल शाह अन्फोन्सो द आबुकेर विश्वनाथ लवंडे ओके सो दिस आर द नेम्स दैट यू नीड टू नो एंड व्हाई दे आर सो फेमस ओके लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल यू मे गेट इन कॉलम ए गोवा कांग्रेस कमेटी एंड कॉलम बी यू मे गेट टी वी कोना द कॉलम सी यू विल गेट गोवा सेवसंग एंड इन कॉलम डी यू हैव टू राइट who started goa se goa goa se was okay like that so you, this will be like you match the column and in uh, uh, two marks uh, question that you will get on this is something like uh, why was mohan radade imprisoned for two, 26 years so these are two mark questions so you have, you have to accordingly you have to answer like that okay apart from them some important dates in goa's freedom struggle like pinto revolt rani revolt Kumkoli revolt okay uh, 18 june 30th may 19 december should know okay so this is, this will come for four mark two marks one of these should come and one mark will come one one mark will come from here in that match the column and if you actually do this 3 5 5 over here then you will it will also cover Uh, you may also get a question on this in uh, the match the column as well then uh, we come to three mark questions okay so age of industrialization three marks over here and again over here you have two marks it is divided into two mark question one two mark question will come and one one mark question so total of three marks will come over here so let's i have just listed down the ones that can come for two marks and if you are lucky enough if you do all of this one mark may come from there itself okay uh, mostly the form of uh, so one mark uh, one line question let's have a look at the two marks question impact of industrial revolution on british india okay which will mostly be a negative impact contribution of uh, jethro tull in agriculture what was the influence of movement all about when did it start positive impact of industrial revolution on western countries england's location in England, either the location of england was considered to be favorable in um, so that made it a leader in industrial revolution steamboat claremont a bone for industrial revolution so it's with a given reason why then the role of davis safety lamp or uh, macadam helped in road development in england so in which way okay then about the spinning jenny okay what things is the spinning so one line on one mark uh, question or name the following it become on spinning jenny spinning jenny sorry so this is a uh, three marks over here next uh, american war of independence very very important three marks and if it <coughs> goa boards uh, model paper come then you will have only one question of 3 marks straight for american and that will be your last question of the paper okay it will be something like okay why was the first continental congress considered as an important event in american revolution or how is it like something like how did the taxation policy of the british parliament lead to the american war of independence here yeah, apart from that you have like uh, questions on the boston tea party okay consequence of the boston tea party what led to the boston tea party uh, there is a first second uh, and second continental con congress but question uh, question on the first continental congress is more likely more important than the second one then uh, american uh, war of independence why is it considered an important event in world history apart from that you have stamp act question would come in that how did uh, taxation i will uh, said this also taxation policy of british parliament lead to american war of independence it will the question will revolve around the american war of independence why it started what happened and all that what did it lead to okay how did it how did it gain independence and so forth acts by the different acts passed by the british parliament to raise revenue for england okay uh, you may be also uh, i have not mentioned away about the wars that they were fighting Uh, why was no taxation without representation passed okay so this also could be us so this three marks one question will come 
if it, if we if we follow goa boards pattern then only one question will come and it will be for three marks so do not lose out on this three marks and it will come from something from here itself next uh, union legislature three marks okay and there will be a two mark question and there will be a one mark question so i have not focused on the one mark question just focus on two mark question that you could focus on uh, over here so here you get uh, rajya sabha is a permanent house okay or rajya sabha is a upper house or whatever so two marks on it lok sabha is a popular house or lower house okay you should know rajya sabha is called the upper house lok sabha is called the lower house then office this is very 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 important office of speaker of lok sabha is very important this word i have also highlighted the removal procedure what is the removal procedure if the speaker is very important in union legislature that is why a question on you speaker looks highly likely okay so just note down that the office of speaker is very important you should know why president plays an important role in lok sabha tenure vice president normally can't vote in rajya sabha should know because he is there but he at he, he can vote but normally he doesn't vote okay and he should know in under what circumstances can he actually vote second stage of passing a bill is time consuming there's a lot going on in that second stage so you should know uh, why the second stage of passing bill why is it does it take so much time a uh, president appoints the chief election commission okay so as a i'll stress this out later on as well that president appoints the chief election commission and it is the governor who appoints the state election commission okay so if you even if you google it up you will get it okay as per uh, which law that the state governor appoints the state election commission either the president appoints the chief election commission which is the head of the uh, total election commission okay? so even the state election commission actually come under the chief election commission which is who is situated in delhi uh, other important things is um, importance of money bill okay and there are various uh, you should know the different bills that are there calling attention confidence or no confidence motions where are they uh, initiated on what basis and what does it mean okay of this passing of this confidence or no confidence motion when is call, calling attention call things like question hour zero hour you should know them okay so three marks over here one mark can involve all this um, one one line question like you were like when is a uh, calling attention brought okay during what time and so forth so you should know this Three marks here. Unification of Germany. Two marks. So now we enter phase where all the chapters, remaining chapters which are there, are uh, two two marks each. So just as a recap over here, we'll have a look which chapters were five marks. Okay. So you we we had the first chapter that is uh, um, emergence of nationalism in India. Five marks. and then we covered goa's freedom struggle for four marks and then we had age of industrialization three marks then we had american war of independence three marks three marks is there for union legislature okay so just three uh, three chapters for three marks and now the remaining all of the chapters that are there is uh, two marks so this all this will comprise of 40 marks for this upcoming examination so let's move on to unification of uh, germany so this uh, two marks over here and this two mark there are no one mark over here so you will get one question of two marks okay following the goa board pattern this is one question and i have listed down some questions over here frankfurt assembly had to be dissolved in 1848 so why there was no free movement of goods in germany why frederick william the 4 uh, refused to be the emperor of the german confederation why 1848 was a year of revolution give reason prussia could not be established as a powerful state before 
give reason. Vienna settlement disappointed German revolution. Why? Prussia emerged as a leader of German confederation. Give reason. Okay. So these questions are likely to come for two marks. There's no one mark question over here. There will be just one question on unification of Germany for two marks. You can focus on this and we'll prepare for uh, bagging these two marks in unification of Germany. Then we come to state legislature. Okay, state legislature, once again, I've highlighted in red the state election. The reason I've highlighted in red because there was some confusion about state election commissioner uh, being appointed by the president. See, it's true that uh, the governor is appointed by the president and the uh, chief election commissioner is, president, uh, is appointed by the president. But uh, as per the laws uh, that I have clarified, that the state governor appoints the state election commission. It is within his powers okay, to do so. Two more questions, state legislature. So we asked uh, questions. So again, if it, two marks straight over here, it's not one, one, one. Uh, what is the composition of legislative council qualifications required for members of legislative? You may get one more question also over here. Financial powers of state legislature qualifications for eligibility to be a state governor. Also, if you are doing qualifications for eligibility, also look how can you remove a state governor from his office? Under what circumstances? Okay. What are the grounds for removal? Just have a look. Functions of governor and also for CM. Also, at the same time, look at uh, grounds for removal of CM. You see, they are all interrelated. Okay. St uh, discretionary powers of the governor. What are they? How does state legislature exercise control over state executive? Important question. Okay, so two marks over here. Then we have a uh, unification of Italy. Two marks. Okay, here there will be one one mark. You should know these important names: Charles Albert, Joseph Mazzini, uh, Garibaldi, Count Kevin, Victor Emmanuel II, Pope Pius IX. Okay, you should know these names. And why are they famous? Then you one more question. Aims of Carbonari, Kervos policy, slogan given by Mazzini in Italy. Okay. Objective of young Italy. Which two Italian cities revolted against Australia in 1848? Why did Napoleon the third withdraw his troops from Rome? Italy was divided into how many states? And which states were ruled by an Italian princely ha house? So these are questions which have been repeating and you may get this question for one mark each, okay? Then we have the French Revolution for two marks, okay? Then in the French Revolution, you can get uh, theory of social contract, theory of separation of power, what was regarded as a symbol of French monarchy, what brought the reign of terror to end and the first state composition and rights, okay? Was you may have first, second, third, and you should know what principles did French Revolution give to humanity, okay? And important names, names, uh, Robespierre, Jacobins, Girondist, Bourbon Diamond Dynasty. Apart from that, you have Montesquieu, Rousseau, Voltaire, Louis uh, XVI, Marie Antoinette. Then we have Napoleon Bonaparte. These are also important names, figures in French Revolution that you should know. Two marks over here, one, one mark. For two questions. Two marks of Panchayati Raj system in India, and you may have a question on uh, Goa over here. So that is why it is important to know two Zilla Panchayats of Goa. You know, you have South and North over here. Uh, and you may also get a question how many Zilla Panchayat members are there in Goa? You should know that. About the panchayat, what is a panchayat? What is a gram sabha? What is a gram sabha? Very, very important composition of the gram sabha. What is a panchayat function? You will be asked for just one question on the panchayat. Okay, and that term of the panchayat who elects the sarpanj and the deputy sarpanj? And very important question where is the amount at credit at of panchayat fund kept? What this question actually means is that you know. You have to pay taxes. You have to pay taxes. You need certain certificates. So you have to pay for that. There is a house tax. There is a garbage tax. 
okay there are various uh, certificates issued by the panchayat okay where is no objection certificates are issued by the panchayat income certificate is given uh, okay then residence certificate is given by the panchayat birth death certificate is given for all this they charge okay now if they charge they take the money but fine if they take the money they should keep it somewhere so what they do they keep it in a branch uh, of a bank that is closest to them okay it makes it easier for them they collect the money and they immediately go and deposit over there so uh, that is why that is what it is asking about amount of current or panchayat fund kept it's usually in a bank when are ordinary and special meetings of the gram sabha held you should know this very very important certificates taxes issued levied by the panchayat you should know video what is a video full form of video who is a video okay how many videos are there in uh, this thing where are their offices okay uh, what is the give one function of that okay how many in goa very very important then there are kamindad and gaunkars who are uh, what is a kamindad who are gaunkars you should know of uh, and a very important one where is the office of the deputy director of panchayats in goa located okay you should know that so two marks over here on one one mark questions then you have judiciary two marks but in questions are why is supreme court considered the guardian of fundamental rights or why is supreme court called a court of record who is a public prosecutor directly you may not get who is a public prosecutor maybe you may get like a, a big sentence and it may be named the following and that will be a word if you know who is a public prosecutor you will be able to answer that question qualifications and retirement of a high court judge very very important what is a writ jurisdiction okay important thing is what are the four writs okay and you have habeas corpus mandamus prohibition quo warranto uh, certiorari this four you should know now will they ask you what is habeas corpus highly unlikely but what they may give you is what is habeas corpus meaning not the question they'll give you the definition of habeas corpus or mandamus you will have to then identify that is habeas corpus that is mandamus or that is prohibition important to learn that okay who was the first permanent judge of goa you should know grounds for removal of uh, of a supreme court judge also important but i have not highlighted that who appoints chief justice and the judges of supreme court you should know who and who appoints chief justice of high court another important question <coughs> location of goa bench of bombay high court now there was a this question had come for prelims there was some confusion with regards to what is the location now you, you see the location given in the textbook is panjim but it is no longer in panjim because our textbooks have not been updated for a while so um it is now lo relocated in porvari so the question is should we put panjim or porvari both question answers should be accepted because the textbook gives this thing uh, uh panjim but the current location is porvari so both can be wrong so if you and uh, to my knowledge teachers for prelims uh, in various schools had accepted both the answers so in the answer key it was given porvari let's move further early trade activities two marks <coughs> important no names you have to uh, know over here Marco Polo, Ottoman Turks, Prince Henry, Bartholomew Diaz, Vasco da Gama, Christopher Columbus, Magellan, John Cabot, Chris, King Francis. Then, which books guided the explorers in their voyage? Very, very important question. We also get a question on navigational aids used by explorers during their voyages. Three main aims of Portuguese traders. Very, very important. Okay, and actually they are all in G, so you should know them. two commercial highways used by people in medieval age which con european country became famous as a workshop of the world new commercial centers that came into existence after discovery of atlantic sea so what one mark question okay i'm not saying that it can be only one mark you may get even one question on two marks but it is highly likely that what one mark question will come next post industrialization uh, age two marks again one mark for each of them now this names which i have highlighted is 
one hundred percent going to come, and they've all they all are authors. Okay, so you should know their books, and one of them is coming. Okay, as a fill in the blank. Okay, so you should know the books written by Charles Dickens. Uh, the book mentioned basically not written there. They've written a lot of books, but the book that is mentioned over there is what you should know. Charles Dickens, Jonathan Swift, H.G. Wells, G.B. Shaw, Jane Austen, Emil Bront, B.C. Chatterjee, uh, Bakim Chandra Chatterjee, Mulk Rajanand, R.K. Narayan, and Rabindranath Tagore. Okay. Uh, then we have the journal that uh, marked the beginning of Indian journalism in 19th century, or the first printing press. Who started it? When? And where? Very important. Who is the father of Indian journalism? You should know. Basic security of society in post-industrial society. A one one mark question, two marks, but one mark is show over here. Okay, the remaining one mark will come from somewhere from here. But one mark you can hundred percent guarantee if you can learn the main books mentioned of these authors over here. Then two marks further for union executive. Okay. What are the judicial powers of the president, who is the supreme commander of the defense forces of India, who appoints prime minister and other ministers, or what is the term of the prime minister or of the government? Okay, who elects the president of India? What is the eligibility? Okay, what is the term of president? Okay, you should also know the grounds for removal of president from office. Which committee is of great importance in the political system? Role of cabinet in governing the country. Who administers the oath of office to the President of India? Types of cabinet commit, uh, committees. When does the President declare a national emergency or a financial emergency or a President's rule? So you should know. This last one is very, very important because there are the uh, powers of the President okay, to declare a national emergency or a financial emergency or even impose a President's rule in the state. Okay, So you should no, there is there's actually a lot in union executive, but I've just narrowed it down to these questions. And the ones highlighted in bold are highly likely to come. Okay. So here you have two marks and you can have even one question on two marks straight over here in union executive. Then you have a state executive. That's two marks. Then first uh, CM of Goa or the current uh, CM of uh, Goa. Uh, the strength of current Goa Assembly. Who is the Speaker of the Goa Assembly? Okay, you should know. Uh, who is the Governor of Goa at the moment? Where is the official residence of the Governor uh, of Goa in Goa? Okay, number of ministers in Goa government. Okay, you should know that the CM is the link between the state cabinet and the Governor. He is also the link between the state and the union government. Okay, so you give, give reasons for that. Uh, roles of the CM. And the state co uh, cabinet. How many council of ministers can a state have? Who is the ex official member of the National Development Council? It is the CM. So you should know that. Very, very important question. Another important question with respect to Goa is uh, what is uh, uh, Goa's statehood day? Okay. So you should know all these questions. There is a lot that can be asked. Okay. When I have given so many things, it doesn't mean you have to study all those things. Okay, you have to also bear in mind that this chapter has got only two books. So rather than wasting uh, two, uh, four, six, four to five hours on this, you may just select one and do. Okay, few of them. If you are lucky, both two marks may come from there. Okay, so uh, accordingly decide based on the amount of time that you have got and uh, on your difficulty level. If you find it easier, do it. If you find it difficult, then it's a choice to do it or not to do it. Then, urban local government, two marks. Three organs of the government. What is urban local government? What, is its, what are its objectives? Where was the City of Panaji Corporation Act passed? How many municipal councils are there in Goa? Very, very important. Okay. Remember that is, there, uh, you have to know the number of municipal councils that are there in Goa. Remember that there is only one municipal corporation in Goa, and that is in Panjim. Who is the administrator of the municipal council and who is the administrator of the municipal corporation? Two different things there. Okay, they have different names as well. 
who is the head of the municipal council <coughs> and who is the head of the municipal corporation administrative head of municipal administration is different you should know that types of functions of municipalities that obligatory and discretionary functions of the municipality when did goa become a state of indian union see this it comes to urban local government or this um, state executive or uh, uh, state legislature there could be a lot of focus on goa itself so you should be prepared for that okay moving further so we we finish with uh, all the chapters and how uh the marks have been distributed i hope i've covered most of the things uh in different chapters which are of uh, five marks four marks three marks and two marks okay now these are questions which are repeated you will all if you have a, your preparatory you will also find this questions in your preparatory also being mentioned i've just segregated them or separated them into various chapters giving you good idea all the different types of questions that can be asked in a particular chapter okay now as per your difficulty level and as per uh, what uh, study you have done in the past you can then focus on these questions because the time is less and there's a lot to study so if i have tried to narrow it down for you so that you can focus on these particular questions okay which are more highly likely to come and i can easily tell you if you do whatever i have mentioned over here easily you can get 30 out of 40 based on the questions that are mentioned in this video of course the 10 marks can come from anywhere else as well but 30 out of 40 we should be able to do if you do each and everything that i mentioned over here not easy to say because <clears throat> if you haven't done it in the past then at the last moment it will be difficult for you whereas for those who are confused and test what where to start and where to begin this video should help you out so if you would like watching this video please hit the like button share this with your friends as well as your classmates and uh, please do subscribe because when you subscribe it also gives me a motivation to do more videos for you uh, with the this res respect okay so thank you very much for watching and keep watching more such videos thank you